So this problem statement is regarding uh, image classification, which is a very common problem um, across different industries. So there are various huge cases also where this image classification is being applied. Image classification. What are the typical process? So the first process is get all the images. Second step, parse the images and store the pixels in structured data format. Then remove noise if regent. Then remove noise if present, then create create models to learn the pattern from the data set. And finally, predict the class of an MS. These are typical scenarios or process flows across different industries. Now, where it is used? So, like sometimes it seems like we are creating a very good solution, but how do we deploy it? Where do we deploy it? Right? That could be a question. So, I'll give you various use cases here. So let me restart the kernel here. Fine. What are the huge cases where this is applied? T leaps classification. For a T manufacturer, what is the typical process flow? The process flow is like this. The tea bags, uh, the tea leaves comes through various cartons and with different batches. One individual does a manual inspection, then leveling happens by sampling exercise. This process leads to a lot of bias in the classification process. Hence, the objective here is, can we apply this image classification to improve the classification process? What is the T classification? There are high class, medium class, and low quality of leaves that comes to the manufacturer and different tea leaves different tea leaves fetch a differential pricing hence the classification of tea leaves is very important clear that is one use case another use case is Disease classification, disease classification in plant leaves. What is the process? Each disease in plants have some 
यूनिक पैटर्न हेंस कैन वी क्लासिफाई देम कैन वी प्रेडिक्ट देम ऑफ कोर्स यस सो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एग्रीकल्चर दीज आर टिपिकल एरियाज वेर द इमेज क्लासिफिकेशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सिमिलरली इट हैज अदर एप्लीकेशन एज वेल राइट देन यू कैन थिंक ऑफ अदर एप्लीकेशन मीन्स अदर इंडस्ट्रीज हाउ दिस क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड टू वेरियस अदर फील्ड वेर देर इज सो इट रिक्वेस्ट थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट set up images and algorithms that need to be processed and third whether you want to generate prediction real time or batch mode there are three decisions need to be taken however in various applications the image recognition is already embedded right so how do we parse it now in this example the objective is to identify the correct classes of the images so we have various images here this is a leaf classification data set taken from kaggle competition where you will find lot of images stored in different folders okay so extraction of pixels and grayscale conversion that translates the images into a structured data file this process can be achieved by two libraries in python by two libraries in python the first one is scipy second one is sklr those two libraries can be used to convert the images into pixels in this case in this particular uh, problem statement that we are trying to solve we do not have to we do not need to parse the images it is already parsed and the data set stored in train and test file has below coming back to algorithms so this is like libraries to be used to read the images now once it is parsed once it is processed it is converted to a structured data file next step is training algorithms training algorithms so you need scalable training algorithms you need scalable training algorithms if the image is of high pixel size high pixel size you need base algorithms you need base algorithms if the image is of low pixel size okay so i'll give examples of both high pixel size as well as low pixel size if you are extracting high definition images right so like 20 megapixel or 50 megapixel or 100 megapixel 
very high definition uh, images, it will contain a lot of pixels. So the pixels would be very large. Now, the normal algorithms might not work there because it will take a lot of time to run. Now, what are those normal algorithms and what are those scalable algorithms? So the training algorithms are having two classes. Base algorithms means if the number of features are manageable, then normal classifiers should work. If it is having high dimensional, then you need to go for advanced algorithms. So for large pixel size and high dimensional data for large pixel size and high dimensional data you should go for cnn it's called convolutional neural network where the architecture is defined as first set of pixels Second step, apply convolutional layer, then represent in another layer, then apply another layer of convolution then again reduce the representation then again apply convolution fine so this process will continue till the time you have a data set which is manageable manageable size and then turn a neural network to solve this. This can be achieved using TensorFlow, PyTorch, then Microsoft Azure, these are three different tools where it can be managed. However, this also requires GPU computation, GPU uh, processing would be required if the size of training set is Use clear and if the pixel size is low, then use algos from SQLearn and SciPy to perform. That's a